Is there any point in fighting a war? Just a dilator running life. Killing innocent people for a reasonless crusade. See, I don't understand how people can care so little for this earth. It's insanity. And this reality is happily taken for granted by those who tragically couldn't care about humanity. These self-serving hypocrites, lying politicians, wealth-hungry dictators and presidential puppets bidding the puppeteer strings following genocidal commands handed down by a Luciferian agenda. See, there's enough resources on the earth to feed the planet, and there's need to have it. Got 300 children die every three minutes from lack of food, disease, and famine than you could even imagine. But such is life. If there's a meaning to this, then the meaning is meaningless, where reasons give reasons to believe in deceitfulness, policing us and impeaching this deception. But reaching this perspective of peace with this intention, and changing it now for our generation, but far from the truth in this paradigm. Nothing but ceasing to exist from beneath in this eclipse where freedom is a gift in this present day paradise and still they insist on taking me to prison because I hold human life higher than patriotism and nothing on this planet that will ever twist my ideology and this see my philosophy is this viva la revolucion and I can ride all day and I can sing all night and I can sing all day and I can sing all night it takes my sadness it takes my breath away it takes the nightmares out of sight now Right, can you introduce yourselves to the microphone please? We'll go left to right. I'm Christopher. Hello. Tom Spencer, aka TSBE. Yeah, Sue Sale. AJ. AJ, and you are AJ in the collective, yeah. Awesome. So, where are you guys originally from, and how long have you been doing this for? Uh, we're from Grantham. We've been doing this about a year now all together. Um, I've done it a bit longer with the music and stuff, but yeah, yeah we've all come together in the past year, yeah, put a studio together, and started doing our music together and stuff. Differently consecutive to where yeah. we are as as people. Like we've been doing it. Like some people have been doing it longer. Some people. Have we've all been, been doing, doing it individually, in it. Yeah, yeah. We sort of come together. Like I'm not even from Grantham. Yeah. And I sort of bumped into these guys. And mate, you know from, I mean? work, like, from work, yeah. Where? Like I met someone at work who knew me. Introduced me to Tom, and I introduced Tom to introduced me to Aaron, and then we've come back from holiday. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, then, and then the rest is history. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so how how long has it been AJ and the collective for? About a year. Well, no, well, no, it's been the, about a couple, couple of months. Of we've months. put this together. We've just made a CD together. Cool. And what's that CD? Uh, it's called Split Personalities. And is that an EP or is that a single? It's more like an album. Like we, we didn't do an EP or anything like that. We just because we've got our own studio that me and Tom put together ourselves. Because okay, cool. Both okay. working, you know, we chipped into it. Yeah, month yeah. By month building it up. That's cool. Like a home studio, of course. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And, and then yeah. just dive straight in and did an album from there. Yeah, yeah. the thing is, you see, you see the progression as well, because when I first went round there, it was the, st the equipment that they had, uh, it was like so outdated, do you know what I mean? Like, and in such a short amount of time, you came back to what they've got now, like, yeah, it's, it's amazing how, how much progression there's been. Bit by bit, we've built up to get a proper condenser microphone. Yeah, know, and logic and, uh, <laughs> and, logic uh, and the Mac. And, uh, yeah, and the Mac's the main thing, you know. Yeah, but that's cool. I think that's all adds to the excitement, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. yeah definitely. We need the kits to do it properly as well, yeah, so that's yeah. cool. Um, and what do you do as part-time jobs to fund all of that? What's what's well, outside the life? I'll it's not the uh, most glamorous job. I'll make chips. We both make chips. We both work at the same yeah. site. Just so Making chips. They make chips and I make bags for yeah. the chips. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, bro. So you're, you're collective in music, you're a collective outside of music making chips, basically. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> I, That's eat the, I eat the chips they make. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't do anything, I just eat the chips. Suppose someone got to buy them, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What good is love? And what good are the friends we have? And what good is it? See your care don't make me laugh And I get love from the music I play I have music to take me away It's the same every single day But yeah, it's a very the collective thing speaks for itself. You know, we're we're very like it's not based on rap. one genre. We all rap. You know. I sing. Tom does a bit of singing. You know, we've got Nia. She sings, and uh, with the, Craig also. You have Craig, a producer. You know, and uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different personalities. Yeah, the name Split Personalities for the album. Oh, I see. Right. Can you tell us a bit more about Split Personalities? What sort of sound it is, and what it's, sort of tracks you got on there? It's an eclectic. Like it's more of a 
everything sort of sound like yeah, it's we, not really a sound that you're trying to look for it's not a genre you're trying to like do it's, it's just it's just everything it. you want to experiment yeah, it's, with it's like, got like you know it, reggae uh, yeah country like, music, it's, there's hip-hop, tracks that are like ska you know, there's like them tracks on that stick when you do get round to yeah. listening yeah yeah um, right would you guys say anything in particular first got you into music we'll probably go one by one for that question but anything that sparked your passion well, for well I grew it. up my dad used to live and listen to heavy metal Right. So I was first listening to that, and then when I started school, I was listening to more rap music. So <laughs> it's not actually a genre I prefer. It's just that's probably what got me into it. Like my dad mm. listening to heavy metal. <clears throat> that's and cool. Then I just moved on to something. <laughs> yeah, and you're you know, a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 completely opposite. Yeah. Yes. I think, Respect uh, Led Zeppelin. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's for me. It was my boy Deity, um back in Margate years back now. Yeah. He uh, got me onto it. We used to just spit bars to like, like freestyle, having a joke and that. Never really thought about taking it seriously. Just as I got older and as I moved about, I thought, well, I'm getting better at it. Yeah, Might yeah, as well yeah. try and make the most of it. Yeah. How long do you reckon you'd say you've taken it seriously for? I don't know. How long have I been in Grantham now? Let me just think. Probably about Two six years. years. Maybe now. Taking yeah. Taking it seriously. I mean, before I come to Grantham, everything everything was booming. I, was, I had quite a lot going on. See, my first mixtapes, I sold thousands and thousands of them, travelling around. My boy Severe from Milton Keynes, and uh, when I come to Grantham, obviously having kids and that, started settling down, stopped making music. A couple of years later, I met, met these guys, yeah. and they're back into the club. And I'm glad that I bumped into these guys. These guys give me the foot up my. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to stop. It's very hard for me to well, stop. Well, well said. I, I think yeah. bum bum's fine. Just say bum. That's <laughs> bottom. Foot up your bottom. bottom. Saying bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't suit your persona, does it, really? <laughs> yeah, for me, I reckon it was uh, again the same sort of suit. I met a good friend, uh, my mate Jack, and I was living in deep in St James near Peterborough. Like, learned to play guitar together, learned to sing together. I was learning rap as well, like, and. Uh, and then it just happened. I was in a band in Peterborough for quite a while. That's what got me going. And then right. back, moved back to Grantham, bumped into Christopher. And uh, since there, you know, we sort of just, with Tom, met Tom. Just, it's weird how music brings people together. Yeah, but then yeah, it just goes from there. Yeah, it just happens so naturally. It just happens, yeah. No, that's cool. The um, universal language everyone understands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it is, yeah. Memories can be forgotten in time. We can watch roses blossom like. I was going to ask this question, but I think you kind of asked it anyway. Um, when you're writing music, do you aim for anything in particular, any kind ah. of style, or do you literally... All, all we do, all, we, all I ever do, and all I ever do when I'm writing music is I just want it to be something that's real, like something that matters to somebody, yeah. whether it's me, somebody right. else, or whatever. You know, it doesn't relatable matter. stuff. It know? doesn't matter who it matters to, I just want it to be some uh, conscious, like compassionate, like as long as it's that, then it's to as me. As long as it's it, real, as you say. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. If I'm listening to something and I hear it, and it's and it's uh, it's real stuff that actually happens, and it and it's nice, isn't it? Like it's all cool listening to music and talking about drugs, sex, anything else. Do you know what I mean? That's you know, what I mean, that's it's, it's right. You you can hear like, oh yeah, right, it's, uh, I do this, I do that. But what's the consequences of what you do and how you do it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, would just, you say you I'm write for people of similar like I, lives? I, I write, to you? I, I don't. I write for me. What you write, write for you. Yeah. What, what, I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. what thinks. So yeah, what I write, what I write is for myself. Like, um, yeah. Unless okay, it's, I get that. Unless it is directly aimed at somebody else, like, and I have that sort of passion to do it for somebody else. But what I write is for me. But just through that, like me writing it for myself, is hoping that people understand yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, as opposed to being ignorant and being blind to what's really going on, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's nat- it's naturally as, as naturally as we've come together, that's how natural the music happens. Like, we are, it's quite political. Like, uh, but we, again, we don't. I don't write to write a political track. It just happens, and then you know it all yeah, happens we, naturally. Yeah. yeah, we just say what we feel is right, and and if it's right to us, then it's right to anybody else. You think a lot whatever. of people nowadays uh, are afraid to say what's right. Yeah, not, yeah. Do you know what I mean? We're living in a day and age where people are something. If something bad happens. I mean, we turn on the TV, we shrug things off nowadays. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's an impact maybe for a week, and then a week later it's forgotten about. Yeah, and that's... Do you know what I mean? And these things are wrong. But people, they're so worried about stepping up and making their voice count. Yeah. Like, And that's what, not just the 
I'm not going to say country. I'm going to say the world. Yeah. There's so many people that are just forgotten. Which is which is annoying as well because there's people in higher positions than anybody else that could be like, oh yeah, we can make this impact by saying this, but they don't. So it's people in smaller positions that actually do care about what's going on yeah. and that but can actually see shirt. what's going on. I did music technology when I was at college. Yeah. And um, it was quite it was quite a difficult thing. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it was difficult because I wasn't really into making music, but I was into music. So yeah. like, I'd hear someone I'd be like, oh yeah, that's that's wicked. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be into music, the sound yeah, yeah. of it, the feel of it, everything. And I couldn't really work out how to make music. Mm. Like, that's not my sort of um, expertise, as you will. But he's gone to like a university to actually do it because Study he can the make music. Yeah, like, yeah so he, yeah. he's he got he's got the the talent, music. he's got yeah. the skill. Yeah. Therefore, pushes so it forward. He can make some it, and I'll feel it, and I'll be like, oh yeah, that yeah. was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was beautiful. Good, An yes. amazing beat maker. So is yeah, brilliant. What's his? Uh, has he got a producer name? Kragus. Kragus, yeah. He's Kragus like, with yeah, a was... six. You know the G with a six, like. A... Yeah. Oh right, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, <laughs> Craig's a savior. Like that. It's all just kicked off for us in the past few months. Um, Craig turned up with his Mac. Uh, the, Had logic. Know. Yeah, and then it all goes from yeah, there for the album and such. A lot of it's MIDI keyboard made, you know. Um, and we built it up, and then our local radio station, Gravity, said, "Come down." And as soon as we did that, I guess we had a little taste of it, and we were like trying to yeah, reach out and get. Us. So we, then we went to Peterborough as well. You, you let us come on here with uh, just trying to reach out to others as well, you know. Yeah, that's to get awesome. Known. On that same scope of things, then have you done gigging a lot as AJ in the collective yet? Not or not? Together. I mean, I know, not, not together. together. I've done gigs by myself. Yeah, I'm sure. Sue's I've done, done loads so. of gigs by myself. Yeah, I thought so. So. Uh, f- when gigging by yourselves then, where's your favourite place to play across the UK? Anywhere in particular that lights up? <laughs> I've done quite a few gigs different places and I wouldn't like to say I couldn't really make my mind up. It's just I know every time I've been there, it's been a good one. Yep. The it, last it, one I've done was in Northampton and uh, the headline flat was logical from People's Army. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed I enjoyed that because I've been listening to, the, to that rap for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I met a lot of, lot of not good people in that. Um, I thought I'd say that's probably most memorable because it was the last one. Until yeah. I until I do another one with these lads, and yeah. then I'll probably say the same about that as well. Yeah. I'd, I'd say the best one I've done was uh, to my school. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In year eleven, we uh, played to literally the whole school. Sweet. And yeah, that was probably the hardest and you know my favourite. You know, playing to your peers. Most daunting. And that. Like, yeah. Well. The most daunting. <laughs> yeah. So. Any? Um, do you have any weird stories from any of the gigs that you've played before and things like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's lit up. I thought you oh, were gone and gone. Pool. <laughs> keep it clean. Tell, yeah, keep, uh, it, keep it clean. This is a community station. Oh, I, was, I, was, I, was on, I was on Facebook. I was listening to this lad called Ruthless. Like, he's a rapper. And for, for a little while, probably about a year. And I got linked up with this guy called Madman Jeff. <laughs> and he put me on this set, I was just saying, in Northampton. And this lad was there, Ruthless. And I got chatting to him and I said, oh, yeah, I've been listening to your music. He was saying back to me, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Done the gig, went home, didn't think nothing about it. I lived in Milton Keynes at the time. And I got a message about a week later saying, how's your mum? I said, what? Like, how's your mum Lorraine? How do you know my mum? Since you not remember, we went to school together in Watford. No way. Been years, over 10 years I see him. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, and... didn't recognise each other. It was someone else on Facebook that was in our primary school together that said, oh yeah, that's Sooth. Don't you remember him from school? No. <laughs> and we were there talking, talking and that. Didn't even recognise each other. That's crazy. That's mad, isn't it? It is mad. And I just thought, well, that's what music's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's brought, brought you back together. That's what we were saying about. It, yeah, some people, you know, hostile, volatile, whatever, like towards other people. But when it comes to music, it's different because it's like I don't know what sort of genres you're into, but I bet you could listen to like uh, anything and be like, yeah, that's nice. If you understand something as a, as a genre, like yeah. I, don't, I don't think like it's a preference for me whether I like it or not. It's just if I hear something and it's good, boom. Then, because I could hear someone that's like, um, like a genre of music I don't like, like uh, I don't know, like I don't can't even think of a genre of music I don't like. But it's not like a preference for me. It's it's not like I still appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. It's not like a preference for me. It's just if you hear it and it's nice and you like it, it's like yes. Can you, you know what I mean? You understand what it is and you feel it. It's like the bigger picture of everything, isn't it? It's like if people could accept. Like, not accept everything, you know, but I mean, understand everything. Whereas the music's the same thing, you know, the things we, people put you in these little tight boxes in the world. Music's the same, you yeah. shouldn't be put into a box. Like, I want to do no, all definitely kinds not. of music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Like, I don't, Just I don't appreciate it. Yeah. 
Like, like I don't want to be a hip hop yeah. group. I don't want to be that. I want to be something else. You know, music, like, musicians. Yeah, like. just genuine music. Like and and across all. You try to say it's like don't label it, innit? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's got no label. Yeah. Like you shouldn't stereotype people. You shouldn't stereotype music and put them in boxes. There is no box because that's what causes people to 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 be um, separated and to, split. To be yeah, separated yeah. and to be like. Um, Aggressive towards other people. I'm getting the feeling this is gonna go down one hell of a tangent, and we can't we can't go down there too long because we only have a studio for a limited amount of time. That's cool, that's yeah. cool, that's Do you feel that way? Because you speak quite passionately about this, that you I say feel, you, about feel, these boxes and stuff. Do you feel like you're being put in a box because yeah, you're wearing my, your head my, up because like, you're speaking on hip hop? Things that I've been through, the things that I've done, like the the stuff that I enjoy, like yeah. just is I enjoy listening to something that I love like it doesn't matter what it is or how it is like the things that I've been through and the person that I am defines me in a different way to the things that I do actually enjoy mm. do you know what I mean so it's like um, yeah I could be this person you could stereotype me as somebody that's you know not really worth much or won't ever achieve anything in life like I've been stereotyped in that perspective in quite a lot of instances you know what I mean but yeah, yeah. that doesn't mean it's true like if you if you tell somebody oh you're never going to be anything well, why are they going to achieve to be anything? Because if you've already told them they're never going to be anything... It doesn't give them the motivation yeah, to move on. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. and it doesn't, and it's not fair to somebody. <coughs> exactly. Judging like them, but there we go. Cover, and, and That's the one, yeah, yeah. And people who do that are the people that are wrong in the first place, whereas other people are contributed to be the ones that are wrong in the first place, when it's not true. It's like, yeah. what are you going on yeah. about? Like, I'm glad you asked us about that stuff, still. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine. Like, that's nice. Before we spiral down that as well, I want to say uh, thank you to Nita for coming out here with us. Mm. Yep. And uh, we do wish she was in here with us. Sorry for getting you wet. She's a bit mardy with us. <laughs> <laughs> we can't help the weather. Yeah, bless no. her. I'll sort of lead her. around like lost sheep around Lincoln, not knowing where I was heading. It's, like it's not no one's fault though. Five it, really? degrees out there is pretty damn uh, cold. It's I've nothing. Been no one complaining, man. But yeah. we made it. <laughs> <laughs> we're outside. I love this it. is England. <laughs> I want to give props because she did make an effort yeah, to come out props here. Props to coming out here. She's paid on the train and everything. So um, next time you'll hear her amazing voice. Yeah, she's got a good voice. Does she sing with you guys? She yeah, does, yeah, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. She sings, yeah. That's a shame she can do it this time. Maybe next time, though. Maybe yeah, next I mean, time. You're always yeah, welcome back here. So. Like, oh, we're welcome back. Of course you are, mate. <laughs> oh, I told you, I'm moving in now, bro. I've got my jacket. I've got my jacket. I'll make a pillow out my jacket. I'm jammed. <laughs> Sweet, mate. Um, right, I'm going to take it back to the music then. What are your future plans for AJ and Collective? Do you have anything set for that? Well, I'm, I'm working on my mixtape called Just Getting Started. I ain't got a release date yet, but it's nearly finished. That's happening. I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's the happening thing now. with the AJ and the collective thing. What we want to do next time around is because I don't want to be the front guy. Like, right. The collective is just an idea. It's us. Like, we're together. We are you know, the and it's, there's everyone who we work with. Like, a lot of people ain't on the front cover or come here with us, you know, but a lot of people come around. Like, there's Damo. Us. So it's... many different people. There's Damo, there's Craig, uh, there's, you know, I mean, shout out Kieran. Loads, yeah. Loads of people. Shout out Callum Ward. All the people that come around and everything like that. Yeah, the hence it's a collective. It's yeah. eventually, so there'll be a set of albums where it'll be AJ. In a collective. Soothsayer Soothsayer in the collective. In collective. It's more of a thing. Yeah, right, I see, so I see, so I see, I see. It's yeah. more of a thing to help everybody else on that other hum- and the yeah, thing, like humanitarian level. Thing like, is as well, like <laughs> you're gonna help the AJ in the collective. Standard. He's had a lot of front thoughts of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, so when it's gonna be say TSPE in the collective, it's gonna be a whole different so- sound of thing no, yeah, with yeah, the same yeah. people yeah. because it's he, he he loves his grime up. Yeah. So, so go down the grime route. So, so you're actually right, thinking right, of yeah. releasing stuff through those other names then of one yeah. of you as a yeah, 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 yeah. Super yeah, as a collective. Not? I mean, these guys have got a whole a whole mixtape of Gorilla covers. Yeah. It's yeah, been, yeah, we love the it's been released yeah. on SoundCloud <laughs> and that. And it's Hello, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we just got the instrumentals, you know, and just wrote to them. They've got That's so, cool, so much beautiful tunes. It's like, wow. Yeah. I, if I, didn't, I if listen we, to it and I'm like... Wow, you're a rock band, but that's like... Yeah. That, Gorillas that's like, are pretty damn good. Literally, you're asking boom. about other stuff that we've been doing. That's yeah. a mixtape yeah. that's not long dropped. That's my mixtape standards. Sooth in, in the, the booth. booth. Volume 1, uh, Volume 2 even, and the big collabs, Volume 2. Cool, I'll have a listen to that then. Uh, I'll keep it on me. Most of that you probably won't be able to play on air. Yeah, that's fine. Lie, but that's for you personally. Thank you. Say thank you for letting us be here today. That's yeah. all right, mate. Thank you for coming for you, down. Mate. I wish I had something for you, mate. It does mean a lot to us, mate. We like really are enthusiastic no, cool. about this so we can see him a bit. Means a lot to me. I always enjoy having people uh, down here. So there's one all of me and one all my mates from Milton Keynes. I'm doing the same again with the lads in Grantham. Yeah, yeah. So. So keep an eye out for that, basically. Yeah, it's going to keep them coming out, yeah. Right, we have to sort of wrap it up here. Can we play um, some music, yeah? That's yeah, no, no, the music will be after. But I have a bunch of, like, quick-fire questions. They're really yeah. stupid, but they're quick. Yeah. Cool. What's your favourite sandwich? 
Um, I like che- yeah, I like cheese, cheese and, and onion. I like just cheese, cheese and onion, cheese. BLT, BLT. We have the we have the winner. No bacon round here. Um, badminton, yes or no? No, no, uh, no. no. I don't. Do, I'm no. not built for small. <laughs> sure, okay, you know. Favorite TV shows? Ooh. Ooh. Scooby Doo, oh, Misfits, Scooby Doo, Misfits. Misfits. Or Pink Show. I, I hate to say it, I hate to be a party spoiler, but I don't actually really watch TV. Oh, That's all right, nor oh, do I really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my favourite TV show. I don't know. Uh, not watch TV much I watch a lot of music channels. So you, you didn't like Scooby Doo when you was kids? <laughs> <laughs> That's not kids that. anymore, bro. I love Scooby. <laughs> no, I, I do. No, I tell you what, I watch about 100, 100 episodes of Scooby Doo with my little girl. Yeah, She's exactly. She loves it. Alright, make sure you record Scooby them so I can watch them. <laughs> I can't stand Scooby That's cool. Now. Right, we'll leave that there. I'm too weak to gain the power. Too high to try to come down. I'm too slow to beat the hours. To change the life I found out. My dreams deprive my sight. My bones I find always feel right. Like I try and look inside, but my own ego make my eyes go blind. Why? My limits unknown. My limb is unknown Through life I try to find a reason for retribution Seems I'm neglecting you man No need to test my future These words are mine and I know that You can't respect my truth fam Seems I'm forgetting you fam Seems I'm forgetting you fam My limb is unknown My limb is unknown Guess my limit's unknown Guess the key to life is to prosper alone These rappers, man, they only rock on a boat Showing off their money in the line of Cologne Why my nights are long and my days are no I'm just a slave to the money It's the bittersweet cold While they're earning dough I can see they're broke See the poor try and give While the riches know that the world's bust But I love it nonetheless None of the cricks are gonna stop me From giving it my best In the east they're committing While they're killing in the west You give to charities But their mouths aren't fed Go check But write a verse and just flow Yes, do something right And learn and we'll grow Friend, I'm not looking for an army, I'm not militant I'm looking for a heart, I'm one that ain't ignorant And that's why, that's why the least don't change bro Man's wife keep keeping us trained so These lies we breathe, no escape No, you can't see the truth by deleting your brain so And that's why, that's why the least don't change bro Man's wife keep keeping us trained so These lies we breathe, no escape No, you can't see the truth by deleting your brain so My limb is unknown My limb is unknown I'm so limitless, it's AJ and TSBE Better come visit this, I make stores My bars try pictures, try picture that My limits are known and that's a fact My limits are known on this track My limits are known and there's no going back But can you face that? Any limit unknown to man? I can make that, then I break that Cause in this world, my limits are known And I'm full grown, yeah I'm full blown with the sickest sound And the sickest tone, I'm in a zone, yeah, yeah Come join AJ and myself Cause my limits are known Yeah, my limits are known my and my limits are known Let them know that the limits are known, bro Through life I try to find a reason for retribution Seems I've neglected you, man No need to test my future These words are mine and I know that You can't respect my true fam Seems I'm forgetting you, fam Seems I'm forgetting you, fam My limits are known my limits unknown And I'm unlimited Trust me, they can't give it this AJ and Tom Pure spitting on the rhythm, it's limitless You can't limit spit Can't limit what we're doing Any time that we give it This is lyrics I'm a giving for the little man to listen Not a quitter but a sinner Getting high and I'm a Christian Not that I believe in God But I believe in something, something That's bigger than us And this bigger than Aaron It's bigger than Tom And it's bigger than the government That we can't trust and now We can't touch and now We can't bust and now We can't protect the people that we love sitting We can't touch and now We can't bust and now We can't protect the people that we love sitting We can't touch and now We can't bust so now we can't protect the people that we love Why? My limit's unknown Whoa. My limit's unknown Whoa. My limit's unknown My limit's unknown yeah. Siren FM AJ and the Collective Just remember, everything will be alright.
As long as you maintain an open heart and open mind, never hide, try and keep a pure soul inside and try and keep hope and faith inside and hold no fear because these are fearful times. And don't be scared to love Keep your loved ones by your side, close tight, only fight for the causes that's right, despite it's so crumble that it will be alright. Cause the Lord made us in his image through our eyes. So we're all beautiful, no lie. Ask yourself, who am I searching for your soul? Gazing back into your eyes, a stairway to a soul and a soul. We all have one to combine. Along with a soul mate, but surely that takes some time to seek yourself, reminisce and rewind on the past that divide. And intertwine the night is why we are who we are at the end of the night and try to stay headstrong. Even though that is terribly long, over long, don't turn to Babylon. Legs tired running in a marathon, don't give up, just carry on, battle on, be a champion. When I talk about love, there's no comparison to my compassion that words can't describe. We don't feel with our hands, we feel with what's inside. We don't see with our eyes, we see with our minds. We don't live life as a self-conscious for a period of time. In fact, we don't live life at all. We die from the moment we emerge from between our mother's thighs. So you best believe, though, we'll all achieve us from moment the semen hit the embryo. You best believe, though, we'll all achieve us from moment the semen touched the embryo.